Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my book reviews, and these were for three books that were part of my Deadly Secrets themed reading week. So in this book, our main characters are trying to uncover secrets that have led to death. <laughs> You did see that one coming because they are called Deli Secrets. All right. So as always, I am, I'm a dork. Below you will find a link to any of the books if you're interested in purchasing them. The way my book reviews work is I give every book one to five stars. One star for me means I did not like the book, probably didn't even finish reading it. Two stars are eh, the book was okay. Um, three stars, it was a good book. I like the book. Four stars are books I loved. And then five stars are those books that are just full on, blow my mind, and want everyone, everyone to read them so we can talk about it. All right. So let's get started. So the first book in Deadly Secrets that I want to talk to you guys about is The Twisted Ones. This was a three-star read for me. It is a good book. So in this book, our main character is a woman in her 20s. Um, she's kind of struggling a little bit. She has some like freelance work and um, her dad basically reaches out to her. He needs her help. Um, his parents, his mom and stepdad, so her step grandfather, have both passed away, leaving behind this their home that is packed to the gills because they are were hoarders. And dad is coping with his own physical um, medical illness and cannot physically get there to take care of it. Um, and is asking if she would go there and spend a few weeks. You know, he'll cover the cost, get out there, though, and help him. And also can decide, is it even worth saving? Um, she does not really have a relationship with these grandparents. She has been out there maybe once or twice in her whole life. So I found the dynamic of the family a little, you know, interesting to start with. Um, they are not a very close family, although her and her father do have a good relationship close relationship. Um, so she does want to help her dad. She goes out there and while out there and going through the stuff in the grandparents' home, um, she uncovers these diaries written by her step-grandfather who or which strike her as the writings of a man facing his dementia, essentially losing his mind. But as she's staying there, um, even within the first couple of days, she starts to experience things that essentially make her reconsider, was her step-grandfather actually losing his mind or were some of these things actually real and happening and she's now bearing witness to them? What is really cool about this book was its unique twist. I actually did not expect the book to play out into the situation it was. So the plot itself I found to be, like I said, you very unique. And I enjoyed that. It wasn't the typical trope I would have expected based on the description. I'll put it that way. Um, so I would definitely, if you are a thriller fan, put this one on your radar because I think you're going to get a unique play on the situation, the setup that I've covered so far. Um, I loved the characters. There's a lot of funny um, people in the community that our main character meets and interacts with, and I was giggling at several points. I love the lines and the dialogue between the characters. Really good. Um, and in fact, the our main character has a dog, and I am a huge dog lover. I have two of my own. And this, her dog is so funny that her dog is actually a character in my mind in the book. And so if you're a dog fan, it's a perk, right? You have a fun dog that you'll get to <laughs> see in this particular story. Um, so overall, you know, why not four stars for me? I, it just, I, I think the writing was good. It was basic. The plot was good. Um, I, like I said, I love some of the dialogue among the characters, but all in all, it was, it was good. It was a good book. Um, it, yeah, I just, uh, I just liked it. I didn't love it. Um, so there, there you have it.
there you have it. Okay, I can already see someone posting a comment. It was just good, huh? That's a good. One. I'm like, I know, I know. I have these moments. All right, let's get let's get into the next one. Um, so four stars for me is the book Eight Detectives by Alex Pavesi. So this particular book, this is the UK edition. If you're looking for this book in the US, you're going to look for The Eighth Detective. I think it's so funny when they do that. But so Eight Detectives in the UK, The Eighth Detective by Alex Pavesi in the US. All right. So let's talk about this particular book. So we have an author who is well known for having written murder mysteries and an editor is reaching out to him because they have found a perfect previously unpublished collection of short mysteries by this author that they would like to publish and so she has gone out this author has become very reclusive lives out on this island and has agreed to meet with the editor and discuss the collection of short stories and publishing them moving forward with that. So our editor has flown out and is sitting with the author to discuss this publication and his work and um, understand more about what's behind the stories. What I absolutely loved about the way this story was set up was its framework, because we have a chapter, which is one of the short stories, and our author um, has requested that the editor read them aloud, and then they talk about the short story, the murder mystery. And it's very, our, our editor is just very analytically minded. And so what she picks up on on the stories just lends to this really interesting conversation. And it reminded me a little bit, if you were an Encyclopedia Brown fan, I used to love reading Encyclopedia Brown books. It's so much fun because you get these short literal murder mysteries. And then you get into the next chapter where you have our author and editor discussing the murder mystery and the elements of it. And then woven in with that is an actual murder mystery that had occurred back in the author's life that the editor is aware of. So they're also starting to weave in discussion around this real life in the fiction book event that the characters um, are aware of. And so you have this really fun play on these short murder mysteries that you get woven into, very well written, so entertaining in and of themselves. And then in between we dive into our main characters discussing this real life murder mystery as well as the elements that make up a murder mystery for writers and getting to the end of the book where there is a solve and let me tell you guys the real life in the book murder was so intriguing and engaging and I did not see it playing out the way it did I don't want to spoil it for anyone but that in and of itself four stars absolutely love this book fully fully entertaining all right final book is going to be a five star read and those of you that have seen my videos before speak about this author know that she is one of my favorite authors and so this will not be a surprise <laughs> and that was the book all the devils are here by louise penny this book just came out in 2020 as did the last one and this is part of an ongoing series um, with a main investigator from Canada called Inspector Gamache. For those of you that have not perhaps read Louise Penny, I just need to tell you that um, this cast of characters, they are so, God, they just, they crawl into your heart. I don't know if crawl's the right word. I'm still creeped out from the twisted ones. But they... <laughs> thinking back to it but they they just become a familiar they're they're just so well written so well developed in the town that they're from this is just one of those series that you do you are going to miss it when they're no longer um being written um and uh i'm glad she's still continuing to write them now but uh it, it, they're just beautiful but anyway let's get on to what this particular book about is about so inspector gamache and his wife have flown to Paris from Canada from their home in Three Pines. Um, their daughter and son-in-law, Jean-Guy, and um, I'm totally blanking on their daughter's name right now, um, have gone to Paris. He has accepted, Jean-Guy has accepted a role um, at a company. So this is supposed to be a move. And so G Inspector Gamache 
and his wife, Renee Marie, have gone to visit their son-in-law and daughter-in-law and see their grandchildren. And while there, they get together with Inspector Gamache's godfather, who is like a billionaire. And I think we have met him previously, but I don't remember it. I am so due to reread this whole series again. But um, while there, there is an attack on... Inspector Gamache's godfather's life that um, Gamache witnesses and essentially believes this was intentional, this was not an accident, and that leads him into delving into the secrets his godfather is kept that has led to this attack on his life and actually lends to the whole family um, getting involved in Paris. And I just want to tell you guys, it was um, a the plot is phenomenal. I loved the layer and layer like some of the books in the series. They're all really good, but some of them are more four star reads for me. This one was definitively five stars because of the plot, the storyline, what went out, how it was, um, how it played out. It just completely very well thought out. Loved it. Her writing, as always, is another reason why her books are usually, I think, always four or five stars for me. Her writing is so beautiful. So if you're not familiar with Louise Penny, I would love to hear when you start to read her words, her writing style for the first time, if you're as like just blown away by the way her she uses phrasing. It's just beautiful, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm always, sometimes I just reread a sentence because I'm like, look at the way she wrote that. I really love the way she wrote that sentence. Like, that to me is just the sign of a five star when I'm rereading a sentence, literally, just to, because, not because I didn't understand, but because I literally love the way the words were woven together. And there you go. That's a five star. So highly recommend this book. Can you jump into this one if you haven't read the prior books? Yes, you absolutely can. This is a solid standalone story. So if you're not ready to really tackle a whole series, but you're intrigued by the plot in this one, um, but just know that you're not going to have this, of course, you're not going to have the same level of um, you, appreciation for some of the characters that are referenced in here because you haven't experienced them. And that's not a shocker. But other than that, I think this is a solid standalone book. So for those of you that don't want to go back to book one, um, but find yourself really intrigued by the this one, um, you can you can pull it off. This one can be read alone. Um, so that is it. As always, if you have questions or comments, post them below. And would love to hear for those of you that have read these books, what you thought. Um, and that is it. So let's <laughs> keep saying that's it. That's it. That's that's really it for now. All right, let's go read some books. Happy reading. <laughs>